So here we are driving the BMW M4 convertible in Southern California, in beautiful Southern California. So I would say before we move on, let's just open the top and enjoy the Southern California sunshine. Let's just close up the windows so you guys can actually hear me. What a beautiful sunny day it is here in Southern California. What better car to drive than a BMW M4 convertible. Thank you so much BMW for making this possible. Obviously this is just going to be a short review. I don't have my cameraman here in Los Angeles so unfortunately I can offer you a lot of driving pictures and I don't want to bore you. So the BMW M4 convertible. I have to say it's a lot more fun than the M4 Coupe. Yes, it's a lot heavier, it's a lot slower, especially in the manual version, but it's a lot more fun. I drove the M4, you know, with dual clutch transmission, so it's the fastest way you can get an M4, the fastest version, and it was the least fun. Now, this time it's a little bit of a different story. Since we have an open roof, I get to hear a lot more of the sound. And I have to say, it doesn't sound so bad after all. I mean, it sounds very different than a nice V8. The biggest problem I have with the sound is that it sounds the best when you lift off of the throttle. You get that little fart out of the exhaust, which is kind of fun. Under full throttle, the engine doesn't sound that nice. We don't need to discuss about the design. This car looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks so much nicer than the previous generation. I mean, the lines it has, it looks so aggressive, but um, it's not like, it's not too much, but it looks just right. And this Yas Marina Blue especially, um, people are looking at this car like crazy, you know? And I know why, it's just a beautiful machine. Now one thing BMW is definitely doing right and better than some of their competitors like Audi and Mercedes, they still offer a manual transmission, a six speed manual. And let me tell you, even it's slower, it's so much more fun, you know, it's so engaging. It really adds to the driving experience. And just like the open roof, you know, it to me it adds to the driving experience, yes, this car, with this car, you won't set the best lap times on a racetrack, but who cares, you know? Especially in California, we have a speed limit of 65 miles per hour. That's 108 kilometers per hour. I don't need the fastest car. I want a car that's fun to drive. Now, the new generation M3 and M4s only have a bit more horsepower than the old car. They have now 431 horsepower, but they have a lot more torque. They have 550 newton meters, um, which is a lot more than the high revving naturally aspirated engines um, so you don't have to rev the engine as high to get performance out of it you know which is good for the average um, daily driver and stuff it's comfortable on the highway you don't need to shift down as much you just floor it and the torque will take care of it but of course it's less less of a race car that way but i can live with it gas mileage wise this car is okay i mean i get around 19 miles per gallon which is very good for a sports car and I'm definitely not driving the most efficient way, so you can definitely get more out of it. I don't know what else I can tell you about this car. I mean, the cabin is typical BMW. You know it now from my other videos. I'm really, you know, I'm loving the BMW interior. Everything is very high quality, feels good. You know, they think of everything that we have the typical M1 and M2 button again, the nice head up display carbon fiber inlays everything feels very nice and it's easy to understand at least to me and I'm really a fan of it I love it now another nice feature this car has in the sport mode and the efficient mode is that it automatically rev matches when you downshift first I was a big enemy of that and thought why I want to do that myself I mean that's the whole point why I go for a manual you know I want to drive it but once you use it a couple times you get so spoiled again and um, spoiled by the technology and now I never drive it in Sport Plus anymore where you would have to rev match yourself um, it's you know the technology is changing the way we think and um, yeah 
it's spoiling us a lot. Audi really stepped up their game with this new Audi A4. 